ever feel like Windows is holding you back? Like, why can't I just move things where I want, make it look how I want, and strip out all the fluff? Well, I found a tool that lets you do exactly that. By the way, it's not from Microsoft, but it's hands down the most powerful way to customize Windows, and it's called Windhawk. Let me walk you through how to set it up and show you a few mods that will completely change how your taskbar and start menu look and feel. So the first thing which you want to do is go to this website. I will also put this website in the video description down below, right below the like button, by the way. Now, just simply click here on download and you will get the installer. Click save file to save it to your computer. Now, once you have it, you can navigate to your file explorer, go to your downloads folder and double left click on Windhawk setup. By the way, guys, if you are interested in this wallpaper, it's part of my wallpaper pack called Breeze and you guys can check it out by clicking the first link in the video description below. Now, here on the installer, click on OK and now just simply install it. Make sure that you have here selected standard installation because this one is recommended. Now here, click on next and then click on install. On their website, you can click on browse for mods. And here you will see plenty of mods you can install on your Windhawk client on your computer. Now you can also see here how many of the users are actually using the mod. For example, this is the most popular one, Windows 11 Start Menu Styler, and this one has over 100K users. Now down below, you will find plenty of mods to install. Now let's go here to Windhawk and let's click on finish on the installer here. Now this is Windhawk client and it looks very similar to their website. Now here down below you will see also featured mods so you guys can see which are most rated and also most used like for example Windows 11 taskbar styler has over 100k users. Now down below you guys can also click here on explore other mods and here you can search for the mods. You guys can also click on this and you guys can sort them by popular and top rated. And now let's install this first mod, which is Windows 11 Start Menu Styler. Now, whenever you want to install a mod, simply click on details here, and then you can click here on install. Now you will also get quick pop-up proceed with care. Just click here, accept risk and install. Now, once you have successfully installed this mod, you guys can go here under the details and you guys can see here a few of the themes you can pick from. Now here under the settings, you will go under the theme and where it says none, you'll pick your favorite theme. For example, we can click side by side minimal and to apply it, you will click save settings. Now let's open the start menu. And this is what this new start menu looks like. We have all the apps here on the left, as well as some of the pinned apps here on the right with the power button here on the left. Now the theme, which I think looks the best in my opinion is this one right here. It's called down arrow and you guys can click on save settings here. And this is what this looks like. I think it looks very, very sleek. We have here the user. We also have here the power button, which looks like this. And then we also have here pinned applications. Now you guys can also click on all here and you will have this scroll menu here. So overall, this start menu looks very, very nice. And this is the one which I recommend. However, you guys can also pick whichever you prefer here. For example, one really cool one is also this one. It's called Rose Pine. You guys can click on save settings and this is what this one looks like. Overall, I think that this mod is really must have if you have Windhawk installed. Now let's go to another mod, which I also highly recommend. And this one is this one right here. And this one is called Windows 11 Taskbar Styler. It also has over 100K users. Just simply click here on details and then click on install to install this mod as well. Now, once you have this mod installed, you guys can go here to the settings. And now here you will pick a theme. For example, if you want translucent taskbar, you will click here and click on save settings. And now you have the translucent taskbar. But the one which I highly recommend is this one right here. It's called dock like and click on save settings. And this is what taskbar looks like at the moment. You can see here that we have this dock looking like taskbar. We have the weather here on the left start menu and then the icons here. And we also have here the system tray. However, if you also like a retro style, you guys can also click on Windows XP and click on save settings. And this is what this Windows XP inspired taskbar looks like. Now, a few more mods, which I highly recommend as well. One of them, it's called better file sizes in Explorer details. You guys can simply go to details here. These are the options this modification actually offers. So for example, here you will see the megabytes, gigabytes of the folders, and also kilobytes. I think this is way more user-friendly 
differently compared to the Windows 11 default option, which is kilobytes. This will show you gigabytes as well as megabytes. So I think that this mod is must have. And the one which I also recommend is called middle click to close on the taskbar. And now once you install this one, you can simply click on your scroll wheel to close your opened window, which I think it's very handy to have. Now, let me show you how much of the RAM this application actually uses. These are the two mods which I also have installed using Winghog. So Windows 11 Start Menu Styler as well as Windows 11 Taskbar Styler. So if I close it, you can also guys see here in the system tray icon that Windhog is running in the background. And let's go here to the task manager. Let's see how much of the system resources this application actually is using at the moment. So let's go down below and you guys can see here that it only uses 4.9 megabytes of system memory and zero of the CPU usage as well as disk. I think that the Windhog is definitely worth using. It uses only five megabytes of the system memory and you get all these modifications completely for free on the windhog.net website. And it actually doesn't cause so much of a strain on your system if you want to modify taskbar as well as start menu. So overall, I highly recommend using Windhog if you want to customize taskbar as well as the start menu. And this is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will leave the link for the Windhog in the video description down below. Like this video if you haven't already and also subscribe to the channel as well. Your support is highly appreciated. With that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next one.